hello 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 welcome welcome this is points and gems i am sam um and by the camera angle you can tell that we are here for a whip and chat of course i'm never on time it is currently friday 8:01 a.m my time um of course you guys know i try to record this on thursdays um, but shit always happens. I don't know why I haven't just switched today yet, but whatever, whatever. Um, that's neither here nor there. Um, first off, of course, I'm gonna give my disclaimer. Um, then I'm gonna tell you guys what kit I'm working on, what tools we're using, and then we'll get started. Um, first and foremost, if you're new here, welcome. Um, I hope you consider sticking around and subscribing. If you're returning, thank you, thank you, thank you. Your support is always appreciated over here in Blunts and Gems world. Um, with that being said, disclaimer, um, my channel is not meant for anyone under the age of 18. It's not meant for pearl clutchers, negative Nancys, bad vibes, bad energy. Um, none of that is allowed here. Also, this is a 420 friendly channel, so you may or may not hear me smoking during this video if I choose to. If that's a problem for you, this is not the video for you. This is not the channel for you. I'm going to need you to go ahead and exit stage left like just go. Just leave. Don't leave a comment. Don't leave an opinion. Um, we all know smoking is bad for your health in some type of extent, whether it's medical marijuana or cigarettes tobacco what whatever what have you um my body my life mind your damn business um now if that's not a problem for you um just grab your whip your work in progress whatever craft you're choosing to use or do because all crafts are welcome here um and i hope you enjoy don't forget to do all the youtube -y things like like comment and subscribe if you haven't um and yeah, that's pretty much it. Now that we've gotten that out of the way, we can go ahead and get started. All right, kid I'm working on, Midnight Laundry Mat by Ivy Dolamore. I hope I said that right. Y'all know I put your names. Um, it is a square drill. It is 56 by 74 centimeters, 43 colors, four ABs. Um, and the area we're on right now is right up in here, this little washer machine washing machine whatever you call it washer machine is what i call it um that's the area we're working on um tools i'm using is a mixture of harbor freight containers and the art dot storage system um i'm using an array a different array of pins so i'm not really going to show you guys pins um the main one well the main two i am using are these two right here they have a three and a five placer on it, but I have been dipping into my 10 placer um, and my four placer, and I have a straightener. So yeah, I got a lot of pins going on. Don't worry about that. Um, Trey Muni made, it was a gift from a very good friend. Um, as far as the release papers, I'm using both, um, both release papers for my hashtag DP for Black History Month event. I'm using this one and this one. Um, I guess this one is called Hands. This one really doesn't have a name. Whatever. Those are release papers you see um, in the cover or in the camera angle. Um, wax I'm using. I'm using two different um rivet stickets by crashly this one is just a plain no scent this one is in the scent fruit slices um if y'all can tell her her wax has me her putty has me in a chokehold that's another story for another time um trash drill tray Bella r day nicole y'all know i love those trays for trash drills don't don't come for me please because i like to argue um use your bella trays for wherever fuck you want to use them for I use mine for what the fuck I want to use mine for. Okay, now. Now that's out the way. We've got that done. I think that's pretty much all the tools I'm using. Um, old school quick stick for ABs. Of course, I've got my tweezers. Uh, washi tapes. I'm using two different kinds. Um, 
and yeah that's pretty much it i think that's everything that um really matters to show you guys that i'm using everything else is just random unnecessary and it'll just draw out the video um but let's get started mental health check-in how was your week how was your weekend um i hope it was good if it wasn't i hope your weekend and next week is better um mine has been pretty good absolutely amazing i can't really complain um as far as my week it has been very good lots of good news this week um lots of good things happening for me this week um of course i'm not gonna give y'all everything you already know if y'all want everything where to go i'm not gonna say it because i say it all the time and this week i feel like just being on schedule and right now we ain't talking about that um but i have got a lot of good news um this week and i'm really excited for um how things are going to be going i'm very positive i think everything's going to work out um and i'm just excited i don't sound like it because it's eight o'clock in the damn morning and i haven't smoked yet i haven't even had coffee but i figured i'd do this first before i got lazy um so yeah mental health this week was definitely at an all-time um high in a good way um not very many lows this week um if any at all um my son has been acting a bit of a brat this week um i can't really explain it i like to call it backtracking um when he doesn't listen and he likes to talk back and question um you know things i tell him or if he goes in time out all of a sudden he wants to question it and you know now all of a sudden i'm not treating him right because he's in time out um typical five-year-old fucking problems okay because when i was five that was the worst of my troubles being in time out not being able to play with my toys so baby he'll get over it he'll get over it he just needs to start listening to mama and not just dad and stepdad but i don't know if i ever told y'all but my mom and my dad uh my dad got rest his soul they used to like to make fun of me uh when it came to my boys because i have four um and they used to tell me i didn't have enough bass in my voice that's why uh when my boys were younger in age like my five-year-old um they don't listen to me apparently my voice doesn't have enough bass in it um i don't believe that shit i'm gonna say that right now i don't believe that um but yeah that's pretty much it on the mental health check-in um besides my son this weekend like i said has been pretty good um and in all honesty and reality he's been acting up but he hasn't been uh, no worser than his older brothers i think he just does it because he knows mom is not trying to have no more kids um and i guess at this point he's just trying to make sure my ovaries hurt all the time from him stressing me out but uh yeah that's pretty much it on mental health check-in what else do we got household updates uh tires are fixed yay um thermostat no i'm still sweating like a whore or swinging from yeti balls i was polar bear balls last week let's try yeti balls this week um but either way i'm either freezing or i'm hot um i don't know at this point is if he's reached out to the fucking landlord again but like i said or i believe i said over on patreon um i'm texting homegirl this weekend actually when i'm done recording because i wanted to give it you know i didn't want to text her at seven o'clock in the morning um but by the time i'm done recording this it should be close to nine o'clock i'm gonna shoot her a text and i'm gonna be like look um i'm gonna need y'all to have somebody come out here that um specializes in heating and cooling and units of that nature don't 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 send your husband ma'am 
um, please stop sending your husband. Um, you know, I'm not knocking the old school handymans that, you know, know how to work on a little bit of everything because my husband is one of those type of men. But at this point, when it's something you know damn well is not your expertise, stop trying to, stop trying to fix it. Just, just call somebody to know what the fuck they're doing, okay? Okay, you know, um, because I'm tired. Um, we've got at least another month of this weather, um, and our, our light bill, electric, electricity bill is getting jacked up, janky, because we're constantly have, having to flip this thermostat back and forth. Uh, believe it or not, that shit does raise your electric bill. I don't care what nobody says. Argue with your mammy, okay? Don't argue with me about it. I grew up in a household where if your mama and your daddy set that thermostat to a certain temperature, your ass bet not look like you want to touch it. Um, you bet not even think about touching it in your dreams, okay? Um, and when I was a kid, I always thought my parents was crazy. I was like, y'all, y'all tripping. Ain't no way you know, flipping the thermostat on and off or, or switching it a couple of degrees is really going to bother with the electric bill. Boo, ma'am, bullshit, okay? Um, I'm my parent's child at this point. Don't touch my thermostat. Um, and it's sad because we have to keep touching our thermostat, which, like I said, is pretty much skyrocketing the damn bill because we're switching from heat to cool, heat to cool, cool to heat, cool to heat. Um, every hour to two hours or so, um, like right now, I have it on the air uh, because somebody left it running all night and we're not talking about me, um, so don't blame me. We're not talking about me. Uh, somebody left it on heat all night, so when I woke up this morning, the thermostat was reading the temperature in the house at 92 degrees so of course i had to turn the heat off and switch it over to air because the air the heat won't cut off um on its own for some reason it is not registering on the thermostat um and before you say new thermostat we've done that he's put in a new thermostat um he's even went up in the attic and um as he said, jangled and tightened some wires and that still didn't work. So at this point, um, if it's not electrical, um, uh, he just needs to get somebody out here that knows what they're doing at this point. Like stop trying to be an air conditioning person when you're not an air conditioning person. Um, but that's my little rant on the household updates. Um, a little tidbit of good news um, as far as that my daughter will be moving in soon um, right now she will be starting off as on weekends but as we get or go through this custody battle um, she will be staying here um, more than likely after the case is over like I said, if you want more information on that, baby, Patreon, Patreon, okay? Let me say it in a fancy word for y'all, Patreon, okay? If y'all want the tea on that or anything else that, that's even remotely good on this, um, on this platform. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it on household updates, homeschooling. Let me tell you, baby, the weather has been shite here for the last few days um we had a kind of cold storm front come in tuesday so the kids were out of school tuesday and wednesday um i don't know for sure if they were out yesterday um but we only did homeschooling monday and thursday this week and we will do today but we did not do tuesday and wednesday um i gave him a snow day like the other kids, um, I'm sorry, homeschooling mamas, we need breaks too. I'm just going to say it like it is. We need breaks too. Um, a lot of people think, oh, I'm sorry, I'm knocking you guys. 
a lot of people think because we homeschool that, um, you know, we don't have the same stress and struggles and issues that um, regular educators have, like our regular public school teachers, private school teachers, uh, just teachers in general. Um, believe it or not, we have the same, pretty much the same stresses as they do. Um, one, we have to teach kids on top of taking care of our household, taking care of our significant others, um, and just being a woman in general, just being a parent, a mom. Um, so you damn right I took a snow day. I sure the fuck did. And I enjoyed those two snow days. And my son did too. He didn't ask not once about school. He didn't start asking until yesterday and he was like well are we still in the snow day or can we do school today and i'm like you know what we can do school today i'm not even going to check and see if um classes are back in we'll just do home school because we're home so it doesn't matter but um miss ma'am yes i did take me a break i sure did and i enjoyed it i diamond painted um got a few things around the house clean that need to be cleaned up um, I actually need to clean the bathroom today. Um, I did do some adulting yesterday and got my kitchen clean. Um, and if y'all know me, y'all know I hate adulting. I just, I'm not domesticated. I tell my husband all the time, I don't have the faintest idea why you married me because when you married me, I barely washed a dish, um, let alone cook. Uh, but I will if I have to. Um, I'm not a stranger to being domesticated and doing those type of duties because, you know, I was a single mother for a long time. Um, but now, now that I have, a, you know, a spouse, a husband, somebody that can pick up, you know, 50% of the work, why not, you know, let them pick up 50% of the work. And me being a spoiled brat, I'm going to try to push that 50% to maybe 75. Uh, don't clutch your pearls with me like, oh, it's supposed to be 50-50 in a relationship. Well, you know what, Miss Ma'am or Sir, I'm spoiled. So I could reach freely for that 75% and my husband would still be happy. Um, if you have that problem with your significant other, um, take it up with them. You know, don't argue with me. Just go to your significant other and be like, significant other, Honey, babe, why does Sam get 75% and I'm only getting 50? You know, that's how I would do it. That's how I would do it. Now, don't come for me if you end up in a fight or an argument. Baby, I can't help that. I'm just telling you how how it works for me over here in my world. Um, so, yeah. Um that was it on homeschooling, um, co-parenting. Um, everything is going good with the co-parenting. Um, can't really complain. Like I said, uh, well, I didn't say. I told Patreon on the vloggy vlog. My bad, guys. I don't know why I keep getting the two mixed up. Um, he will not be going with his dad this weekend because, lo and behold, his dad has to work. So this will be the third weekend in a row that I've been stuck with the last of the Mohegans. That's what I like to call them. Um, but that's okay. Because next weekend he will be out of here. Um, on the first thing smoking, if not the last, um, his ass is out of here. Because he's just, I love him to death. Don't get me wrong. I love all of my babies. Love him to death. But they're little, they're little crumb snatchers. They're little broke best friends. Um, and at this day and age, you can't even treat your kid like a best friend because they might end up on Team Mom. Uh, I said it. I fucking said it. Oh, well. Um, but I love my kids. They're just the boys. If you've got boys, you know. If you got boys, I, that's all I have to say is boys. One word, boys. Um, but... He is the last one. I'm I'm definitely not in the business of trying to make any more. My husband is, if you let him tell it. Um, but Sam, Sam herself can't, I can't. I could deal with a pregnancy. I could deal with a newborn. 
um, what I don't miss is that toddler phase, that toddler stage, you know, from one to probably a good four, uh, when they start walking and talking, um, is when my stress levels go up. Um, and if I could just get past that when it comes to parenting, I might be all right. I might actually make it, but, um, you can't. So I'm not, I'm not starting over at this point. My youngest is five. My oldest is about to be 15 next month. So baby, um, 10 years from now, maybe not even 10, maybe 15 years from now. I'm trying to be in Dubai or some foreign country saying fuck them kids. Um, and and, and cl clutch your pearls if you want. A, a lot of us say it under our breath and in our head and by, behind our kids' backs all the time. Fuck them kids. Let, let's be real. Um, we love them. We take care of them. Uh, we love them a whole lot more than we love ourselves, life itself, because I don't know about you, but I love my kids more than, you know, life, um, for sure, but, um, at the same time, fuck them kids, fuck them, mm -mm. especially 15 years from now, they should be grown in college, um, if I do everything right, like I'm trying to, um, they will be in college or somewhere prospering, um, and living the life that I imagined them to live, just not bothering me. Um, they can come back if ever need be, you know, because I'm not one of those parents. Uh, once you move out, you can't come back. My parents were never like that, and um, I will never be like that. Um, but at least when I become an empty nester, I want to be an empty nester for at least five years, at least. I'm going to beg my kids, like, just at least try to keep your life together for five years. Just let me have five after that, if you want to be a, you know, if you need to move back in, come on with it. But just give me five, just five, five years. Um, but yeah, I'm y'all, I'm just squirreling today. I don't know why. Maybe I got a lot to talk about. Uh, but that was pretty much it on the co-parenting update. Um, me and his dad are pretty much getting along for the most part. We have been getting along for um, a few years now um actually since i got with my husband we've been getting along pretty good uh, before that it was he was more like a bitter baby mama and i was the baby father um if i was in a relationship he didn't want to see his son or his other son um you know every time i got with somebody it was oh the kids have a new stepdad or blah 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 yeah listen if you've had a bitter ex, you already know. I shouldn't even have to explain it too much to you. You should know my struggle. Um, but that's pretty much it on the co-parenting update. What do we got up next? Ugh. Hashtag DP for Black History Month. Yes, it is officially February 3rd. If I'm not mistaken, today is the 3rd. Um, so we are three days in on the hashtag... DP for Black History Month event. Uh, we did do a kickoff live stream on Wednesday. Um, I had a special guest, the wonderful um, Miss Crafting Mayhem and more with Kina. She came and was a guest, um, a guest speaker on my live stream Wednesday, which was absolutely amazing. Um, we have been getting nothing but praises for this live stream since it became public. And I'm just absolutely ecstatic um, about everybody being so excited about this event. Um, next week's live stream, I haven't quite scheduled yet. Um, I will tell you, we will be doing a giveaway at the end of next week's live stream. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So if I was you, I'd wanna be there um, I am going to have a special guest. Um, I'm going to try to, I know for sure, um, if I contact the crafty enabler, she'll be there. So nine times out of 10, she will be a special guest for next week's live stream. There's one other girl that I want to, um, 
I want to get on the live stream with us. That is Miss uh, Spark here on YouTube or over on TikTok where she is predominantly um, Sparkly Fangs. Um, and I believe that's how it's pronounced. Don't come for me. That's how she spells it. Um, and she is a diamond painter, um, content creator that is really popular over on TikTok. Um, she was gracious enough to say that she would come over here to YouTube and join us for a live stream. So I'm definitely, um, excited for that. Of course, um, like I said, you guys will know in advance, I will, um, I will post the post in the group, um, and here on YouTube, um, just to let you guys know, you know, whether or not sparkly things will be with us for the live stream this coming up week now i'm not for sure if it will be on a monday um i'm gonna see which day works for the ladies and um like i said just be paying attention to my youtube um pay attention to the posts over in the group and on my other social media um because i will of course um let you guys know in advance um but that's pretty much it as far as the giveaway uh i mean as far as the event hashtag dp for black history month um i will say if you haven't signed uh filled out the google document i will have it linked in the description box below um see and i'm still knocking y'all let me see maybe it's me all right um, I would suggest signing up because you do have to um, be signed up and in order to win the giveaway prizes. Um, the way I'm going to do it is, like I said, I'm going to call. I'm going to use the StreamYard giveaway tool. Um, and I'll put a hashtag for everyone to put in the comments. And if your name is called as a winner, um, I'm going to need you to send me the email address that you signed up with um for um the hashtag dp for black history month i don't know what's wrong with my brain this morning y'all um and i will go look at my forms um to see if your email matches and if your email matches then of course we will move forward with you giving me your address or where you would like me to ship your prize, and that's how that will go. Now, if you win and you haven't signed up, or your name isn't on the form, I'm gonna have to tell you to sign up, and I'm gonna have to call somebody else's name, because um, if I've not already said it, I don't think it's fair to the people that have signed up and are actually participating in this event to have their chances of winning slimmed down because someone's just coming in the live stream trying to win free prizes um so if you haven't signed up i would definitely suggest um getting your rudy tooty fresh and fruity over there and signing up for this event um like i said i will link the google document down in the description box below um, for those who haven't signed up yet or are still looking for the form. Um, so you can sign up and you can be signed up before the first giveaway. Um, uh, as far as the giveaways, we have um, trays and putties from Mrs. Nick's Notions. Uh, we have cover minders from Moni Paints with Diamonds. Um, we have um, keychains resin handmade keychains from Miss Pencil Surprises. Um, as far as the grand prizes, we have a kit graciously donated by Crafting with Shay, which is Twin Disease by Maddie Manzino. Manzano, listen, y'all know I'm bad at with names. Um, that canvas is going to be a grand prize given away in the Facebook group. Um, and I also have two kits from Miss Crafting Mayhem and More with Kina, one from Treasure Art Studios and one from Diamond Art Club that will also be given away as grand prizes over here on YouTube. Um, so yeah, uh, just make sure you go and sign up. Um, I'm excited about this event. 
Um, it will be an annual event, so if you did not get a chance to participate this year, there is, of course, always next year. Um, and, yeah, that's pretty much it on that home front. Um, next event that I have coming up, which is more of a for fun event, is um, hashtag plants make me happy 2023. Um, and that will be in April. And that one, the only requirements is that the canvas has a plant or a flower of any type or any sort in it. Um, this is a 420 friendly event. No, you do not have to do a marijuana leaf or a marijuana plant to qualify. Um, any plant or flower will make, will qualify as long as it's in the painting that you are choosing to work on. Um, for right now, I only have one sponsor for that event. Like I said, that was more of a for fun event, but we do have one sponsor, uh, Miss Sharon from Pencil Surprises. Um, so depending on how many uh, giveaway prizes she sends, um, I might do <clears throat> a giveaway once a week in April for that event. We will see. Of course, I will keep you guys updated on um, how that plays out or what I decide to do. But that's pretty much it on events um, for right now. Haha. <laughs> Hashtag support small business 2023. This week's episode was on mrs rose profit creations um i was very excited to do her uh business i know she is not a new business but her website and her going out on her own i want to say is kind of new um yeah i know i don't like to tell people business but at this point i don't really know if it's not known business or if it is business um if it's not known i apologize if it is known then hey it was already out there um, she used to be, if I'm not mistaken, with Uniquely Yours Down Under. Um, see, and I keep knocking y'all. I apologize. Um, as far as I know, she is not with them anymore. She has created her, her own diamond painting company, um, under the same name, Rose Profit Creations. I have ordered from her already. Um, I won a gift card, um, and a giveaway on Dreamer dreamer craft corners um youtube channel um so i purchased the diamond painting um i'm excited for it to get here i am going to do an unboxing um just so you guys who haven't purchased from her before and are considering purchasing um hopefully you guys see the episode i did yesterday and the unboxing video and decide to go purchase because I tell y'all all the time, and I tell y'all in the episodes, word of mouth of is everything. Um, we need to start supporting more of our small businesses in this community uh, because it's just the best thing to do. And honestly, they are the ones that are looking out for us um, in this community as far as the people that like to craft and content create. Um, they are making the things that allow us to be happy or help us to be happy um so the least i could do if i can't afford to purchase anything is word of mouth because it's free all day long um and i tell y'all that all the time word of mouth is free all day every day it costs zero dollars to um share or talk about a small business to a friend or to your social media or just anyone in general so, if you haven't checked out that episode, go check it out. Um, as far as who I'm done doing next week, um, I do not know yet. But, of course, y'all won't know either. Um, all you have to do is wait for the video to post and check it out. And you will know who I'm talking about for that for the week or that episode. That's pretty much all I got on hashtag support small business 2023. Oh, as well, um, if you want to donate to hashtag support small business 2023 um i do have a fund set up on ko-fi uh, where you can go and donate to the hashtag support small business fund and all donations will go specifically back into small businesses in this community um 
and small businesses in this community only um, is where that money is going to go to. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it on hashtag support small business 2023. Um, and that is a year long event. So I will try to give you guys an episode every day this year. Um, I am going to try to find a small business at least once a week. Um, some we've probably never heard of, or we're going to hear about for the first time together. Um, so yeah, I'm excited. I'm more than ready for it. Um, I hope you guys are excited, excited. Um, I decided to start this last year sometime. I did start it, but slowed down a little bit and told myself I would start back on it at the beginning of 2023. Um, so yes, here we are. Well, that's pretty much it on that. Um, packages. I do have a couple of packages coming this weekend, so I may or may not do some unboxing videos. Um, y'all know me. I, ho I hate to open up my diamond paintings before I'm going to do them. Um, so just in case I don't do an unboxing, I got three diamond paintings yesterday that I ordered. Um, three DACs. Two from the website and one from Amazon. Um, and I also wanted to try the um, Craftmates Lockables. So I ordered one of those in the 56 compartment size um, or the 56 container size. Um, I really want to try these because one, they're portable. It comes with a little case you can put them in. Um, and if I could transport my diamond pa paintings places game changer i'm gonna tell you that right now game changer um as far as the package from pencil surprises still waiting on that um that is the giveaway prizes um and of course i like i said i'm still waiting on my canvas from um rose profit creations um i do have cover minders that i'm gonna unbox from moni paints with diamonds um coming soon um but I think that's pretty much it on packages. I don't think I have anything else coming um, really fast before I forget. Uh, Nana's Crafty Gems, Don Marie, actually sent me this last week, which is a marijuana leaf, if you couldn't tell. It's a cover minder. Absolutely adorable. I love it. She sent me that one. And she sent me this one as well. Um... I don't know if you guys can read that, but it says Sisters of the Ferns, and it is one of those, hold on, one of those snappy cover minders, adorable. Um, so shout out to her. Thank you very much. It was just a I'm thinking of you um, type of package. It wasn't asked for, um, and of course, I'm greatly appreciative of it. Thank you so much, Dawn, for thinking of me. Um, but that's pretty much it on the packages. I have no shade this week, believe it or not. Well, I do, but I don't want to talk about it because I can't talk about it. But if you're in the messenger group, you already know. I wish I could talk about it, but I'm not, sadly. So no shade this week, but we'll be all right. I might have some for next week. Um live streams yes um i believe i already told you guys i don't know if next week's live stream will be on monday or not um i will try to be live on twitch this weekend um tomorrow from um 9 to 10 30 p.m central standard time um so be checking out or looking out for that uh, my Twitch is down in the description box below um, if you haven't followed me over there. I need to start being better about going live over there. I try. I really try. Um, but shit happens, honestly. It seems like I always have something to do on a Saturday besides going live on Twitch. Um, but usually my live streams for YouTube are on Mondays from 3 to 4.30 p.m., um, I believe I told you guys I switched the time because I have a prior and great engagement in between five and six, and I like to keep um, I like to keep that time free. So for right now, 
the new time frame is 3 to 4.30 Central Standard Time. Um, as far as other time zones, y'all know I'm not good at that. So, if you figure it out, then you figure it out. Um, one of these days, I'm going to get on here and um, figure out the time difference like I had before. Because when I was going live from, I think it was 4 to 6, I had the time frames figured out. But I don't now. So, that's that. That's pretty much it on live streams. I talked about giveaways, uh, the book club. Um, if you have not joined my book club, I will put the link down in the description box below. Um, I did start a book club and we have started our book. We are about three days and three chapters in. Um, and baby, it is good. It is spicy. Um, so if you're interested, like I said, I will put that down in the description box below. Um, I can't think of the name of the book, but I know the the author is Cressley, um, Cressley Cole. And I want to say the book is called The Warlord Wants Forever, but I might be wrong about that. Don't quote me. Um, but that's the book we're reading. Of course, the book club is open to um, everyone and other suggestions besides fantasy romance. Um, I'll pretty much read anything as long as it's interesting. Um I like the mystery um, crime thriller books. I like horror, um, sci-fi, fantasy, anything really. Uh, biographies, things like that. As long as I find it interesting. If it's not interesting, baby, nine times out of ten, I'm not going to read it. Uh, but that's pretty much it on the book club. What have I been watching? Um, me and my husband did watch Wakanda Forever um, a couple of days ago definitely a good movie i liked it i'm not going to spoil it for anybody who hasn't seen it if you haven't seen it go 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 to disney plus get your free trial um pay your bill do whatever you got to do because i believe that is the only way to see it right now is disney plus um i have watched a couple of other shows like my chicago pd uh my chicago fire uh i even watched a little bit of love and hip-hop over this last week and weekend um so i've been all over the place just all over the place what's next on the list oh i have a review video out um i did complete butterfly beauty so i completed my goal for january which took it was to complete at least one of my work in progress so i did complete it i do have a review video up so if you haven't checked that out and you have Butterfly Beauty or you're consider considering purchasing it, go check out my review video. If you're still on the fence, it should definitely lead you in the right direction. All right, Facebook group. If you're not in the Facebook group at this point, what are you doing with your life? Um, it is under the same name as my YouTube, Blunts and Gems. Um, it will be linked down in the description box below. Uh, nine times out of ten there and Instagram is really only the areas that I'm paying attention to works and progresses for hashtag DP for Black History Month um, that's where all the information you will get for this event or any other event I'm hosting all of that will be posted in the Facebook group first um, so if you're not in the Facebook group I don't know what you're doing um, it is a 420 friendly crafting community you can do any type of craft um it's not just diamond painting all crafts are welcome it is a judgment free zone so if you work on unlicensed art or you prefer budget friendly art we are not going to um shame you for that we are not going to shame you for being a dac snob because low-key i'm a dac snob um it's just a great community to be in. Um, and as far as the messenger group, that's even better community to be in. It is a safe place. Um, you're welcome to talk about any and everything you want to in there. Uh, we try to stick to diamond painting, but you know, group full of cackling hens, it ain't going to stay that way. Um, but anything talked about in that group stays in that group. Um, as y'all can tell, um, I know how to keep a secret. I know how to 
not to talk about things that I don't want to talk about or are not meant to be talked about. So if you need a safe place or you want to be a part of the weekly Sunday video calls, which they be lit, they be lit. Um, if you want to be a part of all that, first off, you need to be in the Facebook group. Um, but once you're in the Facebook group, just shoot me a message. Be like, hey, I'm in the Facebook group. I want to be in the messenger group. And we shall let you in. Um, but just realize this group is, like I said, a safe place, a judgment-free zone. Um, and what we talk about in the Facebook group does not, in the messenger group, does not leave the messenger group. Um, I've had to kick women out. I've had to lace up my boots, so to speak, um, because I'm, I don't play that. I like the ladies in the group to be comfortable and to feel safe. Um, and if one person is making everybody feel uncomfortable or is doing things that majority of the group doesn't like, um, that person is just going to have to go bye-bye. Um, and we've had it happen. Um, I've had to kick a few ladies, like I said. Um, but the group we have in there now is not very many of us amazing ladies, amazing group of women. Um, and I'm happy to know all of them. All right, what do we have next? Patreon. I saved it for the end because I didn't want to talk about it throughout the whole video. Um, but baby, if you ain't on my Patreon either, I don't know what you're doing. Um, you're missing out on all the good shit. That's where I name names for all the shade I'm always talking about. Um, I actually am going to do a story time Sundays this weekend. Um, I have the vloggy vlog, of course, and they also have early access. So this video will go over to Patreon first, and it will be over on Patreon by itself until... Um, tomorrow sometime and i will upload it to youtube but patreon gets anything i record or upload first um so baby if you're not on patreon i don't know what you're doing i don't i just don't know what you're doing there's exclusive content over there i have weekly whipping bullshits um live streams week i have monthly zoom calls um it just be lit over there it be lit so if you're not over there, baby, find find your way over there. Just just find your way. Um, the link will be down in the description box if you need directions. Um, what's next? We're almost done here, guys. I talked about story time Sundays, kind of sorta. Uh, topic for story time Sundays this Sunday, I believe, will be about a fight I got into in the eighth grade. Uh, yeah, it's an old fight. It's a long time ago for me. But um, I still remember it freshly in my mind because it was one of those epic, epic fights. Um, it had a lot of um, backlash, a lot of consequences. But if you want to hear that story, you got to be on Patreon because I'm not putting it over here. All my story time Sundays from now on will be over on Patreon because they just be too much for YouTube. And I don't need nobody reporting me. There's always a, a hater out there in the weeds lurking somewhere don't don't tell me i'm wrong because i know all right what's up next um schedule and logbook updates of course they're doing what they're doing um i love my logbook i love my scheduling app or my calendar app um our full agenda is linked down in the description box below as well as the my reference code where we both could get a discount um it's about $3.99 a month, um, not very expensive, or I believe it's like $40 for the whole year. Uh, like I said, not expensive at all, and it's an amazing calendar. I love it. And as far as my logbook, you guys know I praise and praise and praise that logbook. Um, if you're over on my Patreon, you see the monthly uh, logbook pages that I upload, and it ain't much to say about just the fact that I love it. I love it. I'm sorry. There's nothing else to say. Um, what else do we have? Shade trees and gems, baby. I, I just don't know. At this point, I don't know. That that's all I got. I don't know. Um, what else do we got? Amazon storefront. Um, I have 
an Amazon storefront. If you did not know, um, I already have on their qualifying canvases for hashtag DP for Black History Month. But I've also started putting qualifying canvases for hashtag plants make me happy 2023. Um, on my storefront, you will find um, qualifying canvases for my events coming up as well as other canvases that I like or think someone else would like, uh, budget-friendly and licensed. Um, so there's both on my website, um, storefront. And I will continue to um, update and add more qualifying canvases for each event as um, the time goes by. So if you're wanting to participate in any of my events throughout the year, you can always go over there um, and pick a canvas to purchase if you don't have one. Um, and also there's other things on there besides just diamond painting. There's a lot of household items um, and things like that that we use on a regular here in the, um, the household here. Um, and of course I do earn a commission for anything that um, is purchased on my storefront. Uh, no, it does not raise the price for you, nor does the commission come out of your pocket. Um, but I am greatly appreciative if you do choose to purchase anything on my storefront. And if you already have, um, thank you so much in advance. Look at me. I'm messing up here, y'all. Messing up. Can't even get them right. I haven't placed with a five placer in a long time. It's sad that I could place with a 10 placer better than a five, but baby butterfly beauty was a color blocking madness. And that's why. All right. What else do we have? Uh, I talked about the messenger group. All right. Now we're on to the questions for the week. And I told you guys I would um, ask these questions once a week to try to get you guys to engage because I love talking to you guys in the comments. Um, no, it's not a requirement that you answer these questions, but if you do choose to answer them, um, thank you for sharing. It's um, greatly appreciated. Uh, but let's get into these questions because I'm already an hour in almost. Uh, first question. Give one word to describe how your January was. Um, and my word was roller coaster. That might be two words, but don't come for me. Um, I'm making it into one word, roller coaster. A um, lot of highs, a lot of lows. Um, glad that I just made it through it. Um, it wasn't as bad um, now that I sit back and think about the past Januaries. This January by far was not the worst in my history. Um, it was all right. It wasn't the best, but like I said, roller coaster. Um, question number two. What crafts have you tried before? Um, some crafts I've tried before are crocheting. I've tried cross stitch. Of course, diamond painting, um, adult coloring. I've tried paint by numbers, um, just to name a few that I've tried. Uh, next question. Would you try them again? Um, I would try crocheting again for sure. Um, maybe adult coloring, but cross stitching or sewing, um, no, no ma'am, not for me. Uh, last and final question. What is your favorite, favorite small crafting business? Um, this might spark some controversy, but everybody's allowed to their opinion. They're allowed to their favorite. Uh, and I'm going to have to say right now, for me personally, my favorite small business is going to have to be Moni Paints with Diamonds because the cover minders are just absolutely adorable and they represent um african-american women black people as a whole um in the right way because a lot of these small businesses and these companies out here do not represent us um very well no i did this is not because it's black history month i would have picked i would have picked homegirl if 
we were in the middle of fucking December. Um, she is my favorite crafting business right now. Um, if you don't like it, oh well. That's why you have your favorite and I have mine. Um, but that is all the questions that I have for this week. I was surprised that I was able to juice out four questions because usually when I get to the questions, I draw a blank. But I was able to get four questions um, this time. So, um, like I said, if you wish, you can fill out. Uh, well, you can answer those questions down in the comments. Um, what I'm going to do now is start the um, Kofi Patreon shoutouts. Because that was the last I had for you guys. I'm going to do... Kofi Patreon shout outs first and then we'll do subscriber shout outs um and I don't have any Kofi shout outs for this week but um if you want to be on the Kofi or Patreon shout out list of course all you have to do is donate to the hashtag support small business fund or be a member on my Patreon all right so shout outs we have crafting mayhem and more with Kina uh, Molly Hirsch, Diamond Queen 2020, Jennifer Bowen, and Single in Placing. Um, thank you guys so much for being a part of the Blunts and Gems family. Um, we absolutely love you guys over here. Um, now, for the Facebook subscriber shoutouts. Um, to be a part of this, all you have to do is comment on one of my videos in between now and and the next whipping chat, which we're just going to shoot for Friday at this point. Um, and I will shout you out on my channel. And if I can find your page, I will link it in the description box below. All right. This week for subscriber shout outs, we have Nana's Crafty Gems, Don Marie, Diamond Painting with Jack, Annette Frederick, Enza's Diamond Painting Gallery, Crafty Chef Diamond, Mutt Nuts Crazy World, Leslie Jones, Don P., Amalia Israel, or Israel, I hope I pronounced that last name right, um, Pencil Surprises, Billy Anderson, Amanda and Nate, Knit for San Knits for Sanity, Kim C, Melita, Melita, I hope I said that right, Melita, Melata, I hope I said that right, probably ruined it, uh, Linda Bain, Wicked Simmer, Brittany's World, Scrapping Sylvia, you can call me butter love butter i love you randy i just i love you um rose prophet creations angelique crafting with pat and the raw i hope i said that right yeah there's no other way to pronounce that but the raw yeah um those are the subscriber shout outs for this week um, like I said, if you want to be a part of the subscriber shout outs, just subscribe to my channel or comment on any of my videos in between now and my next whipping chat, which is Thursday or Friday, either way. Uh, with that being said, that's all I got for you guys this week. Um, like I said, if you're not on Patreon, I don't know what you're doing with your life as well as the Facebook and messenger group, all of that stuff will be linked down in the description box below. Um, I'm going to get off here and get out of you guys' hair. I'm going to leave you guys what I always leave you with, which is please be kind or be quiet. And if you can't be quiet, baby, at least keep it real. I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.